Alright, hey guys, so today I'm going to be playing a bit of PC Building Simulator. I finally decided to pick this up during the winter sale, it was $15. It's still quite expensive, I would suggest waiting until it's $10 or so. But if you already know how to build computers, this is actually a fairly interesting experience where you have your own little office, your little workspace, and uh, you take orders from various people and you fix their computers. So let's go ahead and begin. At the start, you are completely bankrupt, you're inheriting the PC shop from your uncle and uh, he also took $15 from you to borrow for fuel uh, apparently so you're actually $15 in debt uh, from the beginning but your first order is this guy he says hi Tim I hope you can help me my computer has been running slower than usual and I think I might have clicked on something I shouldn't have do I have a virus so um, I'm charging this guy a hundred dollars to basically remove the viruses from his computer let's go ahead and take the computer uh, basically they just ship you the broken computers in the mail I guess and uh, they just arrive at your doorstep and then you can go through and um, and fix them so with this one all I have to do is install some virus uh, antivirus software and do a quick check on that so what I'm doing now is I'm installing the mouse the keyboard the power supply and the monitor and that's all set up and good to go so we'll go ahead and boot up the computer and we'll go over here and actually I think I forgot something let's go back to the computer I think we need to install the antivirus software. So we're going to plug in our USB drive which has all of our software on it. I'm going to go over here and install the virus scanner. Wait for that to complete. Man, we have to wait for the loading times and then we restart the computer. You can also just back up and uh, just free roam and sort of just wait for it to boot up on its own. It doesn't take very long. We'll start the scan and clean the files and the order has been completed. The viruses have been removed and now we can take the computer, put it back in the hallway and that'll complete our first day. So we can go to the email, collect our $100 payment and the job is finished and now we can move on to day number two. We also have to p watch out for the calendar, we have to pay rent. I think every month we have to pay $500, and then you also have to pay the utility bill, which I guess changes. So let's go ahead and go to work. Here's day two. And we have a bunch more emails. So this guy, he needs a 500 gigabyte hard drive. And I need to install the Mortoni Easy Store 500 gigabyte drive. All right, so we'll go ahead and accept that. And we'll go to the shop and we're gonna need to purchase the 500 gigabyte drive. So we'll go to storage, um, scroll down to 500 gigabytes. We'll add that to the cart. And let's go ahead and look at the other orders. My graphics card has fried itself and I need to, and I need it to be replaced with the same one. An NVIDIA GTX 970, maybe one of the Xi'an ones. All right, so he is looking to replace his graphics card. So we're going to have to go over to the store and we're going to buy a, what do you say, a 970? Let's go ahead and just search that up. And we'll purchase the cheaper one because we are, of course, a business trying to make as much money as possible. Uh, it's done. And let's see the next one. If you take a look at my PC, it isn't running as well as it did when I first bought it. I've probably not been taking the best care of it. It looks a bit dirty. <laughs> Could you give it a once over? So this one I have to remove the viruses and clean out dust. That seems pretty easy. And I think that's it for today. Um, we're gonna have to wait a day for them to ship all the part, all the um, all their computers out. And also for the shop, let's go ahead and look at our cart. And you can purchase different shipping options. You can have same day delivery for $100, next day delivery for 30, or you can wait three to five working days. I think it's better just to do the next day delivery. That way all the parts will arrive when our orders arrive. So let's go ahead and exit this. I think that's all we have to do for now. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the next day. All right. So our parts are here, there's our parts, and that just goes to our inventory. And then here's the three orders that we picked up. So this one, we have to install the 500 gigabyte drive. We'll go ahead and do that one first. 
go ahead and set it on our workshop area. As you level up, you can get additional workshops and um, also some storage areas. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. Oops, I did not mean to open, <laughs> I did not mean to remove the front panel. Let's go ahead and put that back. So this one we are going to be um, installing the hard drive. It looks like there's a hard drive bay at the bottom. So instead of opening this panel, let's go ahead and open the other panel. And we're gonna move the screws. And there we have it. So the hard drive is down here. We can go ahead and open the bay. And it looks like there's some clipping. The wire is going through the drive. It's kind of funny looking. Um, yeah, here's the backside of like every computer. If you guys aren't familiar with uh, building computers, uh, you probably don't know what the hell is going on here. But here's a hard drive. We need to let's go ahead and remove these cables. How do you even do that? Remove cable. There we go. I'll have to unplug these cables, and then we can remove this drive. That is the primary drive, though. I'm kind of wondering what the order. The order just says he wants a 500 gigabyte drive. He didn't really say if he wanted an additional drive for like additional space or if he just wanted me to replace his primary drive. But I'm just going to go ahead and steal steal the other drive and sell it for profit and uh, put this drive in. So let's go ahead and put that back in and then we need to do some, some cable management here. Plug it into the power supply and then also plug it into the motherboard. It's kind of hard to see what's going on here just because... Um, it kind of does everything for you, but that's pretty much all we had to do for this build. Let's go ahead and install the back panel back on the computer. It'd be really funny if, um, I'm not sure if it's possible, but it'd be really funny if you could just like steal parts off computers and just sell them. Uh, like the customer will never know if you just take a couple parts out of there. Uh, let's go ahead and plug everything back in. I kind of wish this part was automated because you have to do this every single time it seems like plug in the the um the mouse keyboard the monitor and so forth so it's going to turn on the computer we just have to wait for it to load air no operating system found so we need to install the operating system one thing that i find kind of strange with this game is you don't have to pay for the operating system <laughs> um but let's go ahead and turn off and turn back on and then it should automatically do this yeah there we go bootstrapping <laughs> so it's autom automatically going through um, the process of installing windows or whatever uh, from the usb but i thought it was kind of strange that it doesn't charge you for installing uh, windows usually you have to pay for it um, if you're not pirating um, but um if you guys didn't know if you guys want a very cheap option of getting windows if you're building a new computer you can go on ebay and you can find windows 10 keys for like five dollars <laughs> that's probably the cheapest way to do it if you don't want to uh, pirate a windows copy but anyways it uh, looks like everything is set we installed everything and now we can go ahead and put this order back in the hallway there we go here's the next one we have to replace the graphics card this one should be fun graphics cards are always entertaining there we go. Let's go ahead and remove the panel. I don't like these closed panels. I feel like there should always be like a vent on the side of a computer uh, for a fan. Um, <laughs> these like blocky designs, there's like barely any airflow. Like the top is covered, the, both sides are covered, the front is like almost completely covered. There's no fans in the front. There's just, there's literally just the CPU and that's it. <laughs> The computer would get so hot if they were playing games. But anyways, we are uh, uninstalling this uh, graphics card here, and it looks like there's a weird setup at the back. Um, okay, we gotta remove the screw that's hooked onto the graphics card, but there's this, there's this strange, what is this? A PCI lock? I've never seen that on like a modern case. I'm not really sure why that's on there. That's kind of useless. <laughs> but now we can remove the graphics card and we can replace it with the one we purchased the other day, which is this one. And then we just go ahead and reinstall the screws. It should be as simple as that. And then we'll go ahead and plug in the cables. 
I mean, I guess you don't need to plug in the keyboard and mouse. You could just plug in the power supply and the HDMI cable. I feel like that would be all you really need. Let's go ahead and turn this on. I forgot to reinstall the case panel. I'll do that in a moment. All right, so that's done. It does say incomplete case though, so I can't just uh, I can't just run away with the side panel. So I'm put that back on there. And let's turn this off and get this out to be delivered. And the last one, it says we need to clean out the dust and remove viruses. This case looks extremely dirty. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the case. I mean, remove the uh, door. There we go, the panel. And then let's go to our inventory. We have some compressed air. I think I have to zoom in a little bit. Man, this case is filthy. Kind of wish it would let you. Oh, I guess you can. The movement isn't like as fluid as you would expect it to be. Kind of reminds me of like a VR game almost. All right, that's done. I think that's all done. All right, we'll go ahead and install the panel. And now we got to remove the viruses. We're gonna have to uh, put a USB drive in here to install the antivirus software. And then plug everything back in. It's really annoying having to do this every single time. I also wish it wouldn't show you like exactly where you, you should put stuff. I feel like for a game that that's kind of like teaching people how to build computers, I feel like it should just let you plug in things wherever you want. And if you mess up, you mess up. Um, I think that would like be a little bit better experience. Like I think most people know where the USB slots are. It doesn't have to like tell you exactly where everything is. But uh, anyways, this is done. We have to install the antivirus cleaner. Virus scanner, I mean. The antivirus. Personally, I'm not a big fan of antivirus. I feel like a lot of antivirus software just ends up slowing down your computer and uh, the virus, antivirus software in itself is sort of like a virus in that regard, considering um, your computer is slower and it's just constantly causing problems, especially running uh, different games and stuff. So let's go ahead and run that, and that should be done. Clean the files, victory, and I think that's all for this order. Yep. All right. Victory. Another thing I wish this game had is like when you're installing a new graphics card, generally you're gonna want to um, install the latest like graphics card drivers from the website. And it doesn't seem like this game has that. Uh, also, there's like no ethernet cable. You would think like one of the things you do when you're building a computer is like you'd, you'd wanna have internet uh, just in case you run into a problem or you need to install drivers for your like motherboard or uh, any computer part. So let's go ahead and check our mail. We can go ahead and collect payments for a lot of stuff. All right, so here at Megacorp, Megacorp Banking, account overdrawn. Uh, we provide a free overdraft for all customers. Your free overdraft limit is $1,000. I'm not sure what happens if you go past $1,000. I'm not sure if there's a fee or something. Right now I'm at negative $260, but I can go ahead and collect all the money from the three orders that we just completed. And now I'm in the positive and I can pay my rent, which is fantastic. This guy sent me an email. I just wanted to say thank you for fixing my PC. It's booting faster than it has in years. I didn't realize your uncle had gone away. It looks like the business is in good hands though. Thanks again, Gary. So that's the guy that I just cleaned his computer with uh, antivirus software. So uh, let's go ahead and discard all of this, all the old orders. We just added the following parts to our range. We can now purchase the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti Overclocked Edition. Pretty cool. And um, I'm level two so I can purchase all of these new things in the shop. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to day number four. Looks like I have plenty of money. I could probably start like purchasing additional items and maybe, I don't think there's, 
Hmm. I wonder if there's like inventory space because I feel like one thing that would be kind of interesting to do to save a little bit of money on shipping and handling is just to purchase purchase like low-end parts and uh, if anyone has a problem and you can use those parts you can just replace them. I'm giving my daughter my PC and she needs lots of RAM apparently. She says she needs 16 gigabytes. <laughs> I've currently got two gigabytes and four RAM slots on my motherboard. All right, so this person needs 16 gigabytes of RAM. RAM is a little bit tricky. I'm not sure how the RAM is going to work in this game. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to just like purchase brand new RAM or if you can mix and match RAM. <laughs> um, it says there's four. Okay. So he needs 16 gigabytes of RAM. And here are my options. I could just purchase two eight gigabytes. I might as well just purchase the cheapest options because the customer doesn't really have a preference. So I think the cheapest way to do this is just to purchase two 16 gigabytes, right? $60? Because if not, 18... How much did you say? 16? Okay. <laughs> if not, I, if I purchase one, that'd be 10 plus 4 plus 2, that'd be 35, 45, 50. That'd be like $55? I don't know. I don't think it's really worth it to have that many RAM sticks. Let's just go ahead and purchase two 8GB drives. Um, I mean, not drives. My budget's $140? That's strange. <laughs> I feel like it's going to cost me a little bit more than $140 to purchase the parts. Um, I guess using this option. 35 It would be a little bit cheaper if I bought the the RAM stick separately, but I can go ahead and take his 2GB RAM stick out of his computer and then I can uh, sell that for profit. Alright, so that's done. I borrowed my mum's brand new PC and then I clicked on something I shouldn't have. Now it's riddled with viruses, blah blah. Alright, so another virus scan. That one's really easy, free money there. I need my PC cleaning. Is that something you offer? It seems to be running quite warm. In terms of time, can you get it finished by 1-5... 2018 tomorrow. Complete by end of day tomorrow. Okay, so I'll get it tomorrow and I should be able to complete it tomorrow. All he needs, what does he need? Clean out dust? That's it? That's weird. <laughs> All I have to do is clean out his computer. That's, uh, that's a pretty easy one. And here's one more order. Not good with the computers, but mine isn't working properly. Replace air cooler and clean out dust. Alright. So he says, It's been getting hot lately and running slower and slower. I don't think I can hear the fan anymore. It lives on the floor of my dusty office. I hope it's not all clogged up. Um, so he wants to replace the fan. But it says re replace air cooler. Like a f I, I, guess, I guess the fan is considered an air cooler. So I guess I just purchased one of these cheap fans. Why is the budget only ten dollars? Place air cooler. Just trying to make sure. Okay, so the air cooler, I think, is the CPU. I think that's what he's talking about. <laughs> he says, it says here though. It says I can't hear the fan anymore. If you do have to replace the fan, then please pick the cheapest one. I can't afford anything fancy. I mean, I, I guess that he's talking about the CPU cooler, but he also says fan, so maybe this one? This is the cheapest one. I guess we're supposed to buy this one. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the cart, but I'm also going to go ahead and add a case fan, just in case. It's just a cheap one. And that should be good. So I'm gonna get all these parts by tomorrow. I'll go ahead and purchase all of that. We'll accept all these four orders, and then we'll go ahead and move on to the next day. Kind of interesting um, how it's set up currently. It's like you go to work one day, and then the next day you like check your emails and <laughs> look for more work. Um, so you have like one day off, and then you work the next day, and then you have a day off, and then you work the next day. All right. So, anyways, we have all of our parts, all that juicy RAM. It's kind of funny. It's just like my daughter needs RAM. It reminds me of that. Uh, that funny YouTube video <laughs> where, where at Minecon that, that kid was like, I need the dedicated RAM for my server. How much the dedicated RAM do I need? 
Uh, but anyways, what are we gonna do? We need to remove the panel. This would be a great game for like beginners who are like people who are looking into uh, building their first PC. This kind of gives you a good beginner's guide, but there's a little bit more to it than uh, just removing the basic parts. Uh, but the RAM is right here, so we need to click this button, click this button, take the RAM stick out, and we can go ahead and sell that. And let's go ahead and install the new RAM, which is... Where is it? Memory. And I forgot the best way to install RAM. I think it really depends on the motherboard. But I'm pretty sure you're supposed to space them out. Although I could be mistaken on that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do that anyway. We'll have to pull these pins out, put the RAM stick in, and there we go. That should work fine. And um, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and install the side panel back on. Would have been nice if you could actually like see the screwdriver. Everything's kind of automated. Now let's go ahead and, uh, oops, do, 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 wrong button, cables. I think I heard from a friend of mine when he played this a while back, um, eventually you can like purchase some sort of uh, ability to automatically install the wires. Cause this would get really annoying after a while having to install everything every single time. Let's go ahead and press the power button. There we go, and we're done. That was a very easy order. And also, if I go to my, um, is this my inventory? I can actually see how much money I got. I can sell the used RAM, the two gigabyte stick that was in there for just $7. That's quite nice. It's kind of neat uh, being able to like take people's parts and sell them. I don't think actual like PC workshops do that. I don't think they just steal the parts that are already inside it. Um, so this one I just have to remove viruses. It's a pretty nice looking case. I like the case. Okay, so let's cut on the cables. The new trend these days with cases is having like glass panels on the side. Like this is an entire glass panel. I really don't like it though because Almost every modern case these days, they don't have any like intake area for airflow. They just have this glass panel and I just feel like it gets hotter than needed. There needs to be some like airflow on the top and a little bit on the side and maybe some on the bottom too. But uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and power on the PC. Oh, we also need to install the antivirus. Always for it to do that. It's kind of annoying having to do this every time as well. You have to wait for it to install and then restart the computer. I love the soundtrack in this game though. I'm not sure how well you guys can hear it. I, I turned it way down just because it was super loud uh, when I first played, but uh, the soundtrack in this game is very relaxing and uh, overall it's a, pretty, um, it's a pretty chill game. Especially being a simulator, I'm actually quite enjoying it. All right, that's done. I mean, like, easy as that. <laughs> I wonder if, like, actual repair places, I wonder if they just make the most of their money just, like, uh, removing viruses. It seems so easy. All right, so I need to just clean out the dust. I feel like most people don't ever worry about cleaning out the dust. It's really not the biggest problem in the world, but I do it every like couple years or so. Um, let's go ahead and install compressed air. I wonder if you have unlimited compressed air. Oops, man, these controls. It seems like if you just hold down the button, it just automatically just works. So you don't really have to go inside the computer. Um, but yeah, that's done. Pretty much doing the same thing over and over again now. OK, 
table. So I would say that's the biggest downside of the game is that it seems to be extremely repetitive. <laughs> I love how you can just move the computer <laughs> while it's on. <laughs> Alright, so that's done. It's like a free hundred dollars there. Imagine if it was that easy to make a hundred dollars. <laughs> you just like you just like get a PC in the mail, install antivirus software, wait five seconds for it to be done, and then collect a hundred dollars. That'd be fantastic. So this one I have to repair an air cooler, which is different from the previous ones. And by air cooler, I'm guessing it just means the CPU cooler. So we need to, let's see, we're gonna have to remove this wire. Or, hold on, I'm kinda trying to figure out what's going on here. There we go, unplug that, and then we can move the CPU cooler. And here's the new one. So we just paid $10 for this one. What is going on here? What the hell? <laughs> What the hell? Huh? <laughs> what am I looking at here? Oh. Did I put that in wrong? <laughs> oh man, that was confusing. This is so weird. <laughs> I don't really understand why. Why is it like this? I'm pretty sure I need to get this cable on the other side, so I'm doing it somehow wrong. It's just very strange the controls here. I'm just gonna do it like that, whatever. If it doesn't work, then screw it. But I need to plug it in somehow. Man, these controls. Here, let's go ahead and just clean out the computer first. Still very, very much concerned. All right, here it is. There we go. Okay, why? <laughs> now the cable is like going through the fan. There's no way that's gonna work properly. Hold on, let me just try it real quick. I want to see if something bad happens. Ah, oh, works fine. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I probably should have installed it the other way, but I didn't really understand what was going on there. But, I mean, if it works, it works. Put the screws back in. Turn on the computer. It'd be hilarious if it it like got jammed or if it somehow cut the cable sparked a fire or something like that all right here we go and I think that was all the orders for today four orders all done hooray money 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 now we have $1,400, we can build our own computer. <laughs> so there's some new RAM in the shop. Um, looks like there's a new graphics card and yeah, some new graphics cards, I guess. Available for upgrade work. I've got some upgrade plans in mind. I want 16 gigabytes of RAM installed. 
I like nice and shiny new components. I think I clicked on something bad. What? Upgrade the 16 gigabytes of RAM, I can do that. All right, so there's just one order for tomorrow and he just wants 16 gigabytes of RAM. He just says, I want 16 gigabytes of RAM installed. I like nice and shiny new components. Do you get like a bonus for installing like higher level parts? That's one thing I don't really understand is like, why would I purchase these other parts whenever this guy just wants 16 gigabytes of RAM? So let's just purchase the cheapest RAM possible. Alright, that's done. I guess I'll just do one more day and uh, I'll end the video here. I will say the game is very, very repetitive, but not to be too surprised considering this is a simulator. But besides that, it does a fairly nice job of uh, teaching you some simple some simple things that you can do to like exchange parts in a computer. It doesn't really show you the whole entire process of uh, building a computer. I would say the hardest thing is probably um, installing the motherboard and then finding where all the power supply uh, connectors go, especially the ones that apply to the motherboard. That's probably the most difficult part because some of the connectors are very, very small. I'm just gonna check my email one more time. All right, so anyways, this one, I just have to replace the RAM again. Let's go ahead and remove the side panel. Another nice Cooler Master case. Some free advertising for Cooler Master and MSI graphics cards. Um, so let's go ahead and... What is this? What the hell? So it says upgrade to 16 gigabytes of RAM. He has an expensive... He has expensive RAM in here. I wonder if I can just pull a fast one on him. Let's go ahead and take this out of here. And if I go to my memory, like look at this, he has the T4's dark eight gigabytes, 2400 megahertz, which is a lot more expensive than the, the ones I purchased. But I wonder if I can just put this in here and, and uh, complete the job. And then I can sell his RAM and make a profit, or maybe I can put his RAM in my own computer. <laughs> so that's done. I mean, that's it's done, 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 done. I swear, if someone did this in a real, like, repair shop, man, <laughs> you're in so much trouble. I need 16 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, let me just steal the RAM you already have and replace it with the cheapest, shittiest RAM possible. World of Warcraft? Permission denied. <laughs> Time queue? What? I can't play play his games? I can't... It'd be really interesting if you could, um... If you could spy on the person. <laughs> I've always wondered, like, if you drop your computer off at, like, a, uh repair place, they usually they, they, they keep it for, like, a day or two or sometimes, like, a week. Um, I wonder if they, like, look at your computer and, like, look at your pictures and stuff. It'd be quite funny. But yeah, it lets me do it. I just ran away with his expensive RAM and installed the shittiest RAM possible. I wonder if he'll get, get mad through an email or something. And here's just a bunch more orders. Can you clean out my PC? It's getting a bit hot. Hot. Could it be the dust? Blah, blah, blah. Clean out dust. And then this one. Replace the motherboard. Needs a Skylake socket. Alright, so before I accept that, let me go to the motherboard area. Oops. How do I go back? There we go. So these are all Skylake sockets. They are the um, Intel motherboards. So I guess I can just purchase the cheapest one. I don't understand why you'd want to purchase an expensive one if they don't, like, specifically ask for it. I bought a PC from you six months ago, and it's been overheating. Blah, blah, blah. Take a look under the CPU cooler, and there's no thermal paste. What kind of Mickey Mouse business are you running? So I need to apply thermal paste. 
Wait, I wonder if I can just deny this guy. <laughs> I demand that you fix this for free, and this time test the PC before you send it back. And then we have to run 3D Mark, I guess. This guy needs a power supply. All right, so this guy needs a new power supply. Install a 600 watt power supply. Let's go to the shop. We'll go to power supplies. 600 watts. This one. All right, so that's everything. We'll collect the money from the order we did today. Everything's done. Let's go to the shop, and we'll go ahead and get these delivered. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more day, just because. We got some new um, some new parts this time. I have to do a power supply and a motherboard. Got our parts. That's the first one. That one just clean out dust. This one's replaced motherboard. This one's replaced power supply. All right, so I'm just gonna do uh, two of the orders, and then I'll probably finish this video here because. I know it is getting a little repetitive, doing the same thing over and over. I really want to see how difficult it is to replace the motherboard, because I feel like you have to remove everything. Oh man, this is going to be annoying. See, with the motherboard, there's so many little connectors for like the fans, for the front, like the front header, um, for pretty much everything. And then we have to remove the CPU as well. Oh man, this, this is an order that actually takes some time. My first gaming PC, my motherboard basically crapped out and I had to essentially just build a new PC because replacing it was just a nightmare. <coughs> <coughs> okay, sorry about that. The motherboard's held in by these screws that mount it onto the case. Okay. Well. Oops. What just happened? That was weird. That was very, very weird. <laughs> okay, so how do I... Where's my parts? Oh, there's more screws. Mounting screws. <coughs> there we go. So now we can go to the motherboard and we can install the new motherboard. Gotta reinstall the mounting screws. I don't really understand why we removed the ones that we didn't need to remove, but it's okay. There we go. <coughs> Sorry, something in my throat. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the uh, CPU real quick. Property of Woodward. <laughs> All right, open the CPU shield. Um, yeah, let's install the CPU. And then we're going to need to, um, I kind of forgot what you do here. I think you close the CPU shield first and then you need to install some thermal paste on here. There we go, that's done. And then let's go ahead and Put the cooler back on here. That's fine. Okay, so now the cable management. It's really nice that it just does everything for you. And there's the, the header, the thing in the front of the case goes down here. And then there's the hard drive goes in one of these slots that's kind of different looking from what I've seen from other motherboards but uh, yeah that's pretty much it I think I think we have everything installed that was a lengthy little process there though 
Oh wait, the ram. Almost forgot the ram. Oh, and the graphics card. <laughs> Running away with all its parts. And now we can install the panel. And finally, I hope we get paid a lot for that. <coughs> so that's probably the hardest thing to uh, do with a new computer is installing the motherboard. Because you literally have to unplug and essentially replace everything. You're essentially building a new computer if you're replacing the motherboard. Okay, so that one's done. It wasn't too bad, it was just kind of annoying. And there was one over here... ...replacing the power supply. This one would be kind of interesting. Okay, so this one, again, it seems like there's like a hard drive dock at the bottom. So I think we need to remove this side of the case in order to reach the power supply. This is a tall case. It's really big. All right, so here's the power supply. We're gonna have to unplug these cables, and we're gonna have to re-plug in all the cables. We also need to go to the back of the computer, and we're going to have to remove this slot. All these screws, so many screws. There we go. And then we go to power supply. I think this is the one. I think it's just upgrading. He wanted to upgrade his power supply. All right, that seems fine. It's backwards. Hold on. <laughs> Let me check this real quick. Um, I guess that's right. Kind of looks backwards for some reason. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the cables. Is that everything? I swear there's more. What about the graphics card? Pretty sure I'm missing the... I'm missing something. Um, but if that's it, then that's it. Let's go put the side panel back on. Okay, and now to put the back plate back on. PSU mount. Alright. So with any luck, this should work. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I guess this type of graphics card doesn't need power. I guess it's just getting power from the motherboard. I haven't seen a graphics card like that in a long time. Uh, but anyways, we also need to install the 3D Mark software. Now let's go over here. Oh wait, it's already on here. Run. This is kind of cool. <laughs> So he's getting 16 FPS. Is the customer going to be happy with that? How long does it take? I hope it stops at 30 seconds. Oh man. How long is this going to go on for? I guess he's getting 25 FPS in this scene. Oh yeah, those frames. Amazing. I guess this is why you would need multiple workstations, because I guess whenever you're testing 3D Mark, it's going to take some time, and then you can work on something else. How long does this take? This is like the actual 3D Mark uh, 
simulation. It's kind of interesting that they have this in the game. Alright, so I'm pretty much done with this build. I'm pretty sure it's working just fine. Uh, so I think I'm going to end this video here. Just a quick let's play of PC Building Simulator. I've been wanting to play this game for quite some time, and I finally get a chance to. I will say the game is rather repetitive, so keep that in mind. If you're into simulators, you might find something really uh, fun to enjoy here. Especially when you level up, you get new parts, you get uh, harder orders, and then you can have multiple workstations, and you can slowly work your way up and make a lot of money. Uh, so this is done. Pretty sure he had a terrible score, but that doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Yep, we're done. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of interesting that you can steal people's parts and you can replace parts with uh, cheaper and less expensive parts. <laughs> it's quite uh, entertaining in my opinion. I kind of wonder if you if you have like an order to like replace RAM, I wonder what would happen if you like replace the person's uh, graphics card and exchanged it for like a cheaper graphics card. I wonder if it lets you do that. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a fun game. I thought it was interesting. I would say wait until it's $10 or less just because it is repetitive. But besides that, it's a pretty good game. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.